Hello everyone, this is Grethid here from ZeroOneGaming.com and NewCastGaming.com. It's Monday, and I got some news. Before we go into that, Game in the Background is Beat Hazard once again. I had to repartition my whole computer, and I lost a lot of my games. Beat Hazard was the quickest to install, so I could actually put something in the background instead of my ugly face. Because, Lord knows, I don't want to be back there. So, you know the drill. If you're susceptible to seizures and whatnot from blinking lights, turn this off now, put it in the background, do something. I prefer to just put it in the background. Just listen. Listen. So, first thing I found, and this is pretty brief, it seems that Ubisoft has actually delayed the release of Far Cry 3. It was originally set for September 4th in North America and November 7th in Europe. But it's been pushed back to November 30th universally for reasons yet unknown. We're waiting to see what Ubisoft has to say for that, but I've said this before, I'll say it again. If it means that the game is going to be done properly, go ahead and delay it. People that really want to play the game are going to want to play the game right. And Lord knows you could have so many problems with launch if they're not ready to go. Especially with the variance between the North American and European launches, there's there's a huge difference in, in days there. That's a whole two months, which with the digital distribution point that is available, there is absolutely no reason for it other than maybe that now we're going to look at one release date, everything's going to go, and well, people get to play their Far Cry 3 all at once. So do you remember back, way back, when E3 was going on and Resident Evil 6 was announced to the world? Well, the Collector's Editions had officially been announced for Europe by Capcom. The Collector's Edition is going to bundle quite a few different things together. What it's going to come with is an Ivy University Tall Oaks hooded sweatshirt, a zombie steel book, a concept art, and avatar or dynamic theme codes depending on which system you the Collector's Edition is also going to contain zinc alloy emblems of squad insignias of the three main characters. The Resident Evil 6 Force emblems will be mounted and set in a limited number of frames and signed by members of the senior production team. All the content is going to be bundled together in the Needle Bomb box, which was the box that you saw there in the announcement trailer. Personally, I think it's kind of cool because Collector's Editions haven't had as much, well, collector stuff in them. A lot of the collector's editions lately has been a book and the fancy title of a collector's edition. Nothing else to it. If you're going to get a collector's edition, you might as well get goodies in there too, just because that's what it's all about. And Capcom's doing it. Resident Evil 6 is set in 10 years after the Raccoon City incident and is right now Capcom's largest production. Hopefully, it lives up to the hype it's producing. Last but not least, over at ZeroOneGaming.com, Gareth reports on a gaming bar opening fiasco. So basically what's going on is there's a couple bars that are gaming themed. A couple of them include the Biohazard Cafe and Grill, Stars, which is based on Resident Evil, called Biohazard over in Japan, which is due open on Friday, July 13th. How ironic is that on Friday the 13th? In any case, this particular restaurant is going to be in Tokyo. It's going to feature themed dishes like the G virus vaccine, green herb salads, etc. Along with that, there's an experienced restaurant and bar which will be opening in Vancouver. Nerds everywhere, please, you should please, please, please rejoice for this. There are sports bars galore everywhere, and you get to watch your sports there, but how often do gamers have gaming bars where they can go watch gaming, interact and such, enjoy the themes of those gaming bars. There's none! Now there are some. If the success of these establishments really show up, perhaps we'll see more of them. So please support these places if you're near there. I know in the Twin Cities, if there was a gaming bar, I would probably be... A, well, hell, I'd be there all the time. I won't deny that at all. And that's it for Monday. I'll be back on Wednesday with more news of some variety. I will probably have my gaming library back and installed in my computer by then. In the meantime, if you have any comments, whether they be positive or negative, please leave them in the comment section down below. I certainly appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs if you like the video and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.
gaming bars. God, that is so genius. Why did no one else think of gaming bars before?